In this reaction, we have calcium oxide plus nitric acid. Let's count the atoms up to balance the equation. We have one calcium, we have one oxygen, and I'm gonna skip this oxygen for right now. We're gonna come back to this, one hydrogen. And I'm gonna count this NO3, this is the nitrate ion, it's just one item because I have an NO3 here and then I have two of them over here. So I'm just gonna consider it NO3 to be one thing. So I have one NO3 here, Calcium, so I have one. Let's leave the oxygens alone here. I do have one oxygen in the water and the two hydrogens. And then here I have two NO3 ions. So let's just put a two here. Now this will make it a lot easier to balance. If we look at our coefficients, we're not balanced here. We have two hydrogens, one here, two nitrate ions, only one here. So all we really need to do is put a coefficient of two in front of the nitric acid now we have the hydrogen one times two. Hydrogens are balanced. And then we're treating the nitrate as one item. So the one nitrate times two, that gives us two nitrates. Those are balanced. So everything's balanced. Now, if you added them up individually, if you had one plus three, you had your four oxygens and you had your seven oxygens here, and you went through and balanced it, it would give you the same answer. It would work. It's just kind of awkward and would take a lot more effort on your part. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CaO plus HNO3 yields CaNO32 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.